फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्टी चेयरमैन आई हैव नो हेजिटेशन इन लैंडिंग माई फुल स्पोर्ट टू द रेजोल्यूशन विच हैज बिन मूड इन द हाउस दिस रेजोल्यूशन इज वेरी टाइमली एंड द गवर्नमेंट विल बी वेल एडवाइज to take into consideration the various factors which the mover has already enumerated in support of his resolution sir as this house knows very well the government always has thought it necessary to come out with a statement of policy regarding the control and planning of economy at the beginning of every plan The first plan was preceded by the Industrial Policy Resolution of 1948 and when experience was gathered during the working of the first plan the government thought it necessary to come out with another resolution again on industrial policy in 1956 and at that time it was stated by the government that that resolution had become necessary because of the experience that was gathered during the working of the first plan similarly we are now on the threshold of the 10th plan and it will be necessary for us to consider again the industrial policy of the government in the light of the experience that we have gathered during the second plan period it is true that the 1948 resolution and the 1956 resolution emanated from the government and no committee was appointed at that time to examine the various aspects of these industrial policies but we must also remember that the entire responsibility for the formulation of the nine plans was taken by the government itself when we are on the threshold of the 10th plan responsible government spokesman and even the president have expressed the desire that all the various elements of the nation should combine together at the very outset to apply their minds to the formulation of the 10th plan and that cooperation from all sections is welcomed by the government when various sections of the community are trying to apply their minds to the problems of the 10th plan it will be necessary for the country to know exactly what should be the industrial policy what should be the economic policy that should govern the formulation of the 10th plan it is because of this that this particular problem should not be left to be tackled by the government alone it may be argued that the 1956 resolution is fairly clear and nothing has happened during the second plan period so far which requires any reexamination of this problem i respectfully beg to differ from that position enough had happened during the second plan and even so far which might make it necessary that we should reexamine the 1956 resolution the reserve bank year after year has drawn attention to the fact that the savings of the community are not keeping pace with the requirements of the economy we have been told even by government spokesman that one of the problems which cr- creates great anxiety in the mind of the planning commission is the fact of the non availability of savings savings today are in the hands of the banking system and we have only the reserve bank and the state bank which are nationalized the other banks are still in private hands and it will be necessary to examine whether it is desirable that the other scheduled banks should also be nationalized or should be brought under more effective control of the government if the savings drive is to be given impetus the mover of the resolution has very wisely kept the thing quite open for the committee to discuss all the issues 
it need not be taken for granted that merely because a committee is appointed that committee would be biased in favor of nationalization only it will be necessary for it to examine all the pros and cons and to see whether the time has come for nationalizing the entire credit system this house and the other house have already discussed the lic investment policy but the comments in both the houses as well as in the public make it quite clear that investment policy also is still not quite clear will this investment policy lead to nationalization by the back door will that policy ultimately lead to the control of the various industries by the government will it lead to a greater participation in the profits that the economy as a whole has created these are the problems which exercise the mind of the public this committee will have to go into that aspect also and evolve a consistent investment policy not only with reference to the lic funds but also with reference to the other funds that are at the disposal of the government and which can also be utilized for productive purposes this committee should also tap some other sources of financing our five year plans for the development of our country stop